Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech. Right, this is my next video. This is is the Corsair 5000D airflow worth it? Let's find out. Do you enjoy fitness? Do you also enjoy tech? Well, go check keyfitness.com. Link will be in the description. This is the latest sample I've received from them. Excellent quality, very comfortable, and also it's amazing to work out in. So, 5000D from Corsair, worth it? Uh, I'd recommend it, yes. I'd say yes, because out of all cases, except for Lee and Lee, which I would say aesthetically, looking. Lee and Lee's got a better looking case, but for the price as well as functionality, uh, the Corsair 5000D is an amazing case for the price as well as it's it's kind of grouping. Now you've got tempered glass, you've got front panel airflow optimization with a perforated front panel with a long, very big effort at the front which is magnetic then you've got another one on top which is perforated with a this actually i'll show you this is like a very it's like a like a plasticky type one with magnetics on each side mine's off because i got fans as exhaust and you want airflow you want the best exhaust ever take up the uh, the filter for exhaust right this Saturday coming up is the case mod of Cooler Master RFX 2, part 2. So, don't forget to keep uh, an eye on my videos as well as my social media, Facebook, Insta, as well as Twitter and TikTok. Don't forget to be subscribed because you don't want to miss part 2. It's me showing you how I'm doing the mod, I, my plans, as well as basically a little bit of funny things i'm going to be showing you because it's my first time actually trying to mod something so it's going to be quite funny but i hope you guys are really going to enjoy it i really hope so so make sure you subscribe let's continue with this current video for intake don't uh it's got fantastic water cooling uh compatibility you can fit up to two no three 360 rads uh the top the front and the side or you could do two 280s on the top and a, and a, maybe a 240 on the side it's got fantastic fan support you can support up to 10 fans um it comes with an included fan hub which is a very nice feature uh the temper glass is very nice the right side panel it's not very good quality it's very thin and flimsy every time i tend to take that off i tend to bend it it just could be one of them things that it's because they've got the, the back panel where there's another slide out door it's got so much cable management there i guess they couldn't have had a thicker door uh the the cable management side of it is fantastic the airflow fan is fantastic but one thing I do not like is the power supply area. There isn't a lot of room for airflow down there. Now, yeah, the argument could be that power supplies don't need enough airflow these days. But in my opinion, any airflow going to the power supply is a, is a must because that does generate a lot of heat, especially it depends on what type of power supply you have. If you've got a passively cooled one, then obviously it, it's generally meant to do that but that's one gripe i don't like about this case is the power supply part of it it's it's not very good the airflow for that is quite crap sorry it's not very airflow optimized because once you've got the power supply in there with all the cables crammed in there is no room for it so yeah look is it worth is it worth the buy in 2022 yeah of course it is still a fantastic case the 5000d has got the 5000x which is the all 10 class version if you don't care about airflow go that one 
if you care about airflow the 5000d from Corsair is the most fantastic choice ever so hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe this is Richard from Welsh Tech goodbye